Hey, this is Jason, KO4DDG. Today, we're going to do the Mars mod on the ICOM IC5100. This should be fun. Let's open up this webpage here for more information. I got the write-up from Worldwide DX Radio Forum. This modification will open up TX in the 137 to 174 and the 400 to 170. Basically, I want this so I can operate on GMRS as I have a license, WRXQ668. But your use may uh, vary for whatever you want to do with it. So basically, what we want to do is remove two components, D310 and D312. Remove those two components and it should open up the radio to all frequencies. So let's go out to the bench and get started. Okay, now we're on the bench here with the radio. I already have the cover open to make it easy. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws to remove to get the cover off. Then when you're at the cover, you follow my diagram, which I have here, to show you what chips to remove. Basically, you want to make sure the, the UHF ports on the left now the video shows it on the right, but I guess it's mirrored, but just make sure it's on your left. And then find this connector, and then find this group right here. Just slightly diagonal to that. You're going to see one, two chips there, and then south of there you'll see another chip. We're going to remove this chip and the one south of it. Alright, so you got your soldering iron, make sure it's a really thin tip. Make sure you tin it and clean it to get the heat dissipated right. We're at 710 degrees for the temperature on the soldering. And this soldering iron is what I reviewed. Probably link it right here for you. USB powered. Makes it easy. And if you're not using a soldering iron, you can charge your phone with it. There you go. All right, so let's get on in here. Pain in the butt with this microscope, but we can make it work. You might not even need tweezers, you might just be, use a soldering iron or a rocket. You just want to remove it without removing the circuit board or the pieces of the traces. get something in there to help me out here. There we go. First one's removed. Clean up the traces make sure nothing's touching each other. Looks pretty clean. Focus it here just to double check. Don't want to second guess yourself when you plug it in. Okay, that's the first one done. First one removed. Now we're going to move to the second one. God's granted I can find it. Okay, there's that big chip. It's going to be right there. That's the next one. 
There's your second one. Okay? Same thing with that one. Pray and stick it. And hopefully it'll come up. Get the left one hot. Get the right one hot. Slowly lift it with your soldering iron. You can't get tweezers in there. Ideally, you would buy some hot tweezers that heat up on both sides. Not everyone has the budget for that. I don't do this every day, so I don't have one. See what I'm doing? I'm sticking in between the tweezers. It seems to be working better. All right, let's just put some flux on it and see if that makes it better. Flux distributes the heat. They sometimes help with these projects. It also smells really good. I moved it. There we go. I'm moving it. Right, I've got it off. Or we melted it off. One of the two. Now we got to make it look nice. Don't need things shorting. Look nice or that look ugly? You all want to take some bets that this thing's going to work afterwards? I hope so. I did the 4100. If you can look at my videos and see how easy that was. That was just one resistor I had to remove. That looks pretty. This is wrap it up. That's all we need to do. Get a better look at the board here. All right, to wrap it up, we put the cover back on. Screws. I'm not going to bore you with this one. We'll catch y'all in the truck when I'm testing it out. Okay, we're in the truck now. We haven't even turned it on, but we have it all plugged in. So let's go see what it does. All right, moment of truth. And 
We're on channel 9, GMRS. Try to transmit. My camera keeps going out of focus. Look at that. We transmitted. WRXQ 668. Testing, testing. All right, Mars mod. Mars mod was successfully done on the ICOM IC5100. Yay! All right, back to the studio. Now right, we're back in the studio. Did the Mars mod successfully? Thank goodness. Not sure what I would do if I screwed that one up, but you're seeing how easy it was. Basically, instead of unsoldering, we basically melted the component and it came off and we fixed the solder points. So, you know, it worked. Just take your time. You'll get it done. And this is Jason, KO4DDG, saying 7-3 to y'all. We'll catch you on the next one.